Välkommen till min fjol. Today I'm unboxing this beauty. Thanks to the guys at Tabletop Battle, I've been given a chance to unbox the new Soul Wars starter set for Age of Sigmar. So what's in it? smell of cardboard. When you first unbox the box, you'll find the sleeve, which is approximately two human head sizes. Good to know. Next inside, you'll find a box with some great box art, which also looks a lot like the poster you get in the new White Dwarf. It's like they coordinate their marketing or something. Inside, you'll find a lot of sprues. Now, Games Workshop calls these push fit models, but you push them around, they don't fit. So maybe they should just call them slap fit models. It's really just a snap. So, for only the price of the box set, you get all of these guys. For the next trick, I'm gonna make the new Age of Sigmar core book appear. Oh boy, I can't wait to read 120 rule pages to have a cursory understanding of a game. Let's get in. The rules don't even start until page 220. Is this even a real game? Who needs 200 pages of gorgeous illustrations, backgrounds on every faction, telling of the story and the setting? I don't need that. The only thing I need are the 18 pages that sum up three years of games development in a new and expanded rule set which is also included in the box in a separate pamphlet. It even includes rules like allegiance abilities so that every Grand Alliance plays and feels unique, and rules for playing in different realms with unique rules? Special spell lores? Unique items and command abilities? Wow! That's actually kind of cool. Ooh, there's even a section on open play so that you can play with anyone, with any models in any way. So there's an open war battle plan generator, coalition of death rule set for team battles, and even a way of structuring a ladder campaign. And if you're one of those players who likes playing narrative battles, this book's got a lot for you. It's got campaign rules. It's got siege rules. It's got rules for fighting underground. It even has rules for playing triumph and treachery, the best way you can play with your friends. In the end, there's even a section for matched play, and it's all included in the starter set. But wait, there's more. You're new. Here's a little pamphlet that's going to get you started in the hobby, so you don't even need to know anything about it. But wait, there's more! The core rule set, one little pamphlet for easy transportation. But wait, there's more! A complete building and painting guide so you can get your models to the tabletop as quickly as possible. But wait, there's more! A Battle of Glimms Forge pamphlet that tells you the story of the battle, giving you the background you need to tell your stories in the Age of Sigmar. Featuring those awesome models, the sidekick, an obvious upgrade on the last starter set model, grenade launchers in a fantasy game, not a giant grenade launcher, the incredible bulk, 
a street light, the guy who cut off Ned Stark's head, and take all your shopping in one round. We thought they were rats, but turns out they're horses. The Ghostbusters. And an all-you-can-spook buffet. be yours if only you take that opportunity and seize it. So get out there and get the Age of Sigmar 2 starter set, Soul Wars.